I wrestled Jesus for a snake once and lost. He took my snake. The only reason I moved to L.A. was for the traffic. <laughs> no, all kidding aside, uh, I was ready to pick up and uh, lay some roots on the West Coast and see what that's about. Because I had a big dose of Tennessee. I've lived it and loved it and uh, ready just to reinvent. I, I came out here for a summer, made some art, got some sunshine on me and fell in love with it. And I thought the universe just kind of sent me here. So here I am. You know, I'm on the backside down here, man. It's, I call it the Golden Ghetto. And uh, there's still a little bit of flavor and craziness back on the, on the west side of Santa Monica, which I like. Some mom and pop stuff going down. I like uh, being, you know, in the middle of it, yet on the side of it. I haven't advertised. No one knows I'm here except for the sign on the door. So people are discovering me just as I'm discovering LA, and it's, it's really been laid back and cool that way. And um, this has given me a little island, you know, in the wilderness here. My little spot on Pico. And it's, it's kind of magic in that way. Printing is essential to all education. All the other arts rely on it. Religious movements depend on it. Hand compositors usually set the large type, called display line used in advertisements and other printed matter. Hand composition offers opportunities for artistic expression. Compositors who have the ability to create original ideas are highly paid craftsmen. The work requires manual dexterity, good eyesight, and thoroughness. Our language, our structures, worldwide, it's all based on communicating thoughts and ideas. You, you start breaking it down, you get it down to the letter form. And then you know you break that down a million ways and you got a million styles of it all. And so for me, you know, uh, once I got into letterpress and had to, you physically have to have the type. You have to have the font. And there's so many thousands and thousands of them created in the course of two, three hundred years here, you know, in the 17, 1800s. And most of it was made that's in use today. Those guys were my heroes. And uh, they were doing it by hand, they were engraving it into copper matrices and pouring, pouring the lead mold. So it, it's, you know, you go back to the monks and the illuminated manuscripts spending their lives, devo devoting their lives to spreading the word, so to speak, you know. But anyway, you know, once they were able to reproduce edition work, it, it changed the world. And if you look, you know, at the list of the 100 most important inventions of all time, Gutenberg's Press is right up there at number one. So. A lot of it is, is, is tied to the history, which I really love that, but it's also tied to the present and the now. And even though I'm using the old stuff, I'm making new stuff. Having a shop where people can come in and see the action going on, you know, I think that that's a really important thing and being able to produce, uh, you know, just custom, custom things and beautiful things for people. That, that's a big part of it. But the word, the word, uh, you know, it's, it's some, something, man. And, and the type, you just, it's so beautiful. It's got its own history. It's all carved into wood. It's got dents and dings and imperfections and it prints crazily, but it's pure. 
And that's, that's what I love about it. It's, it's just really pure. I was able to find the freedom and the voice in my own voice through a handmade approach to it. And I've always tried to make graphic design into art, make it more than what it you know, is or, or wants to be into something that it can be. And I think that's been a good philosophy for me. But it's been backbreaking work and, and there's just no shortcut to it. Of course, I have a Macintosh. I can't even get into my email. What an ordeal, a fucking thing. I have a hate, hate relationship with the computer. And I always have. It's the reason I went low tech in graphic design. I did not, I didn't like it and it didn't like me. I've always just wanted to try to have fun making art. And as hard as that is, it's, it's really hard. It's, you know, it's, it's a goddamn serious business. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It just is. It's brutal.